Hey everybody, how's it going? I have a review for the new Theory 11 and Greg Rostami app called iPredict Plus. So let's get right into it. Okay, so let's start with the performance or the trick. Basically, you go up to a spectator, have them whisper a card's name into your ear or have them select a random card. This is truly random, free choice, up to them 100%. Uh, they let you know the card and then you call the psychic, you text the psychic, or they call the psychic, they text the psychic, or they can call the psychic or text the psychic from their phone, really cool, and the psychic will either text back to them or they'll get a message machine, and the psychic's message machine will have the name of the card. So uh, very cool, 100%, no forces, um, very, very cool, awesome effect. But in this category comes my biggest, biggest grievance with this whole thing and why I think it's still a notch below Greg Rostami's other uh, magic app called iForce, which I did a review for. Link in the description box below. Um, that's my biggest, my biggest grievance is that you're not really doing anything magical here. In reality, you're doing the whole trick, but from the spectator's eyes, they're not really being impressed by you, they're being impressed by the psychic. So it's not, for a $10 trick, you're not really getting a lot out of it because yes, it is amazing, but no, you're not really doing anything for the spectator in the spectator's eyes. Okay, so for the second part of this review, I'm going to go into the actual app and explain why this app is so geniusly made uh, and how they covered really every little hole that they could have uh, really cleverly uh, put together this app, uh, just like the iForce app by Greg Rostami. Um, so the first thing you'll notice is that when you go into the app and uh, also the icon of the app, it's, it says the stock prediction app. So it's a cover up, um, although it's called iPredict, um, which is somewhat magical. It also says the stock prediction app, which uh, covers it up as the magic app. Really clever, uh, just a smart way of going about it. And so if someone has your phone, text, clicks on it, oh yeah, that's just my uh, stock prediction app. It's just this cool little thing I have. There you go, really smart. Uh, genius little implementation there. Um, next thing you'll see is a lock screen, so no one will be able to get in but you. Do a little grievance here, you're not actually going, you don't have a specific lock uh, passcode. Um, I don't really know why, it seems pretty obvious. There's actually a specific way of getting in from the lock screen without actually typing in a lock code that you can set yourself. A little strange, but um, there you go. Once you are into the app itself, you have, uh, it's basically, it looks like the contacts app. Uh, it's actually perfectly identical to the contacts app uh, on your phone and uh, you'll it'll actually import all your contacts every time you go in so even if you make a new contact outside the app when you go back into the app it'll have that contact so it has all your contacts plus one and that is the Kristen uh, the Kristen contact which is the psychic itself um, what's also cool is that you can customize the Kristen uh, contacts you can name it something different you can put a different uh, face on it um, so on and so forth. Obviously it has to be uh, the, the name of a woman because that's who picks up the phone unless you're doing the texting. Um, there's a secret way of getting into a further menu in the contacts app um, which you're gonna learn obviously and once you're in there there's a bunch of settings um, which have some very good things when you're practicing and some other cool options and uh, yeah they've really thought this through. Um, really well. On top of that, there's video instructions as well as written instructions, which I always like to see in these uh, in these apps. That's one thing that iForce is lacking of video instructions. It's nice having both. Both are really detailed and really, really helpful. I can't go any further because I don't want to ruin it, but essentially it's this contacts app. That's, that's the face of it. And uh, you go into the, the Kristen uh, contact and uh, they'll see the phone number and they can type that phone number onto their phone. You can call it from your phone. You can text it. They can text it whatever, that's how it works. One other thing which I don't particularly like, but at the same time, um, there's not really any way for them to get around it, is that when you're calling Kristen and when you're texting Kristen, that's actually calls and those are actually texts. So those will be using up your minutes, those will be using up your, uh, your text limit if you have that on your uh, data wireless plan from your, from your service. And it is definitely both upgradable and customizable. There are other people that you can call or text that do different things. One, uh, they're in-app purchases though, so they're each gonna cost a little money. So far there's only one extra, but they say they're gonna keep building on, uh, called Nadia, where it'll guess a number between one and 75. The method of this is very clever, uh, really invisible, no one's gonna see it, it's impossible. You can have the phone out right in front of them, they're never gonna notice. Um, and you can also check up on yourself, even if you screw something up, 
you'll be able to fix it. So all in all, uh, the method is pretty pretty simple. Uh, it takes a little, uh, it's, it's a little knacky, it takes a little getting used to, but eventually you'll get it and it's really simplistic and they're never gonna get it. Um, after that, it's easy as pie, they do all the work and um, yeah, it's just a really, really great method. All right, so that's the app. I give it a nine out of 10, really, really good app. Again, I don't think it lives up to i4s just because the big thing that you're not actually doing the trick, but otherwise really cleverly made. They've really covered everything and uh, well instructed. Uh, the price is a little high for an iPhone app, but uh, if you're willing to spend it, it's definitely really amazing. So that is all. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you have any questions about the app, make sure you comment down below. I'll be sure to get to them. Remember to like, and if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe because I also have uh, contests, reviews, uh, more reviews obviously, uh, uh, tutorials, raffles, all, all sorts of stuff. So uh, if you like this, uh, make sure you subscribe and stay tuned. Anyway, that is all for now. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you later.